Hello and welcome to another edition of Finding God in Science with me, Dr. Hilary Spank. You'll be wondering how we did on the Hatathon last week. I'm very pleased to say that we took over £20 in donations, which will go a long way uh, to proving some of our wonderful, wonderful sciencing that we do here. Um, we've got a action-packed show for you tonight, as always. We'll start off with some letters in a minute. Uh, and then we've got an extra special guest for you uh, this evening. Um, Dr. Jojo the Talking Frog is coming all the way uh, to talk to us today on Skype, which is uh, quite wonderful. Uh, but let's, uh, as ever, my, uh, my sack has been bulging all week, desperately waiting for somebody to lend a hand uh, and unload it for me all over the Institute. Uh, and the one we picked out of that heavy, heavy load that I was spilled across the floor this morning is this one from a Mr. DJJ Rats Cock Sucker 69. Uh, what these kids will, will call themselves, it really does make me smile. And Jesus too, um, who we're all here to, uh, to love and praise. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Uh, uh, he says, uh, Dear Dr. Hilary Spank, I love the show. Hey, uh, and watch it every week ever since it started showing on Clock 2, the second television channel here in Hungary. Hungary only has two channels, oh dear, and Clock 2 used to show educational programmes about turnips, so I was very pleased to see a science show. Way we love, we do like science. Uh, I wanted to write to you as I only have three friends, oh dear. Two are online and the other is of course Jesus. Yes, uh, Jesus is everybody's friend, so I'm not sure if that uh, that counts. Uh, the problem is, whenever I meet new people, I get so excited that I tell them I'm a scientist, to do with brains or something. Despite over 30 hours of watching educational turnip programmes during the Great Flood of 2006, I just don't sound like a convincing scientist, like what you do. Oh, stop it, you'll make me blush. What can I do to make it so I don't sound like I'm just reading off Wikipedia pages? I've tried tutting and being condescending, but it's not working. What can I do? DJJ Rats Cock Sucker 69. Well, DJJ Rats Cock Sucker 69. Uh, see what you did there with the numbers. Uh, what can you do to sound like a convincing scientist? Well, there are a couple of options here. Uh, one would be to go to school, college, or better still, university, and learn about the things you want to talk about so that you can do something other than sound like you don't know what you're talking about. That does take many years to achieve, however, and from the tone of your, of your, of your writing there, I do feel like that might not be the sort of thing uh, that'll really work for you. Um, so we do have, just adjust myself there, we do have a special new product here at the Institute that we're going to send out to you uh, as a prize for this week. Uh, and it is the Finding God in Science Being a Scientist Kit. Now it's quite a, quite a wonderful prize that you have won for yourself today comprising of this lovely lab coat, which just fits on. You operate it like an ordinary coat. Uh, it comes in two modes, open uh, or closed, uh, or because of the number of buttons, in a superposition of both uh, for those fans of quantum mechanics. We're also gonna throw in, because you are such a, uh, such a terrible letter writer, um, some hearing devices uh, that I am told is called a stethomoscope. Uh, this stethomoscope, oh, that is very loud. Uh, that should help. And as you'll note, uh, with just the addition of, uh, here's a screwdriver, that can go in there. Um, a whiteboard marker, that can also go in there. Um, but do make sure that it's pointing out just over the top so you can see it. It's very important, that, for sounding like a scientist. And the, and the, the science thing can also go in there. Um, got a calculator. We'll pop that in the post for you as well. And you can see there that there's quite a, a scientific-y 
uh, vibe going on there. So hopefully, uh, DJJ Ratscocker 69. So, ah, sorry, <laughs> had a frog in my throat. Uh, DJJ Ratscock Sucker 69. Uh, this is, I I'm, would guess, the right choice for you as your only means for sounding like you know what you're talking about. Uh, so thanks for that, lovely letters. Uh, if you have got any letters, don't be afraid to write in. Uh, we're always we're here to help, uh, which is always lovely. Uh, and right, so now moving on, uh, he's been uh, he's been dialing in as we speak, and I can tell you now that we are we're just connecting now uh, to Doctor Jojo the Talking Frog, uh, and his um, his temple of contemplation at the Atlantis Gentleman's Sauna in Wisconsin. Uh, Dr. Jojo, uh, can you hear me? Ah, yes. Ah, sorry. I should tell you before we start. <laughs> Dr. Jojo does only speak in uh, the, the Atlantan gibberish, which is the language that they speak in uh, Atlantis. Uh, it's apparently a very efficient form of communication. Uh, which is which is lovely. Um, I do have a basic understanding of Atlantan gibberish, um, so hopefully I can translate that for you. So uh, if you just like to start speaking, uh, Doctor Jojo, I will translate. Some collapse away below the below the wave function. I will really collapse, 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 collapse. I do. Now we're very big fans of your work here at uh, Finding God in Science. So, Dr. Jodro, I'd just like you to talk more about this new idea of yours. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, la 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 la. So, so what you're saying is everything's a dream. Everything's not real. Claps, claps, claps. Idealism. You don't understand. Oh, hey, Miss Piggy. How are you? Okay. Right. Okay, well, hopefully that was enlightening for everybody. Um, apparently, life is but a dream, and it's got something to do with uh, quantum mechanics and um, collapsing something or other. Um, it didn't sound very coherent, but I, that's no, that, that's not a, it, no, we'll leave it there. So, uh, that was this week's show. Hopefully we'll see you next week. Um, let's not have, yeah, it was a bit of a, yeah. All right then. So that's uh goodbye from me and I shall, as ever, go upstairs in the library, uh, and we'll see you next week. Take care now. Bye-bye. 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 Look at my big hands.